So this is going to be a rather unusual Dollar Tree video, uh, because good friend of the channel, longtime friend of the channel, David, uh, who has his own channel, End of the Hall, which I will link in the description below because it is amazing. If you like my stuff, you'll very likely like his stuff. Uh, he is also in my area that I live in, and he told me that Dollar Tree stores have started to get something rather unexpected. Uh, and I went to my local Dollar Tree uh, in the hopes to find them, and I found them. Uh, I didn't find all of the ones I want. Uh, I'll elaborate on that in a moment, but I'm very excited for these. <laughs> very excited. So what this is, it is Gundam stuff. I found Gundam stuff at Dollar Tree. These figures for a dollar and 25 each. Now what they are, they're from the uh, Gundam Luminous collection, and I actually do already have one of these. I think I bought this at Target, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think this is something I got sent from Bandai. I don't think so. But I've had this Sharzaku for a while. And it's really cool. I mean, they're slightly poseable. They're actually very similar in scale to uh, Mobile Student Action figures, which if you're an MSIA collector, you know, this might be a good opportunity for you to grab some uh, grab some cool in-scale figures. Yeah, they're luminous because they light up. Uh, I'll light up this char right here so we can kind of see what's going on here. So how you have to do it's kind of cumbersome, but you essentially take them apart at the waist, take out this little light box, and then you flip it, and then you can see it's lighting up, and it's a very bright light. So once you put the torso over it, the head will actually light up. So that's a very bright light, and it's really cool that I found a decent chunk of these figures for only $1.25 each. That's insane to me. And I really gotta thank David for, you know, giving me the tip on this, because I would not have expected to find this kind of stuff. Come on out, please. There we go. <laughs> I would not have expected to ever find this kind of stuff at Dollar Tree. Even the guy that rang me out at Dollar Tree was like, is this Gundam stuff? Man, that's old school. Like, <laughs> even he was surprised. So yeah, uh, I'm very excited to get into these. Uh, so I got the classic RX-78-2 Gundam. Uh, this is one with the beam rifle and the shield. Uh, so I got that. I did get a second version. Uh, this is actually the second version. This is the first. This one has the beam saber. So, as far as I know, they're the same thing, but different. They're from 2021, so they're fairly recent. I guess this is just a case of overstock, and Dollar Tree bought them out, and they're just carrying them for $1.25, which is insane. Insane to me. Uh, I did get this. I always get myself a, a cotton candy uh, <laughs> cotton candy sucker whenever I go to Dollar Tree, because uh, I'm a sucker for these. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so, what else did I get? I already have it. I do already have it, but I did decide to grab an extra char. I'm pretty sure this is the exact version that I have. I don't think... Like, I don't remember if this came with a bazooka or not, but I don't display it with the bazooka. So I'm not sure, but it's essentially the same figure, just, you know, with a bazooka. I think that's pretty much the main deal. And I think I decided to not display it with the bazooka for whatever reason. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to open this in the video, uh, but I, I might. I'll probably just open it. They only had one Char. They had tons of the Gundam with the Beam Saber. They only had one of the Gundam with the Beam Rifle. And unfortunately, they only had two of this. They had two green standard MS-06 Zakus. They only had two of them. And that's a bit disappointing to me because at $1.25 each, I would have bought all of them. If they had 20 of these things, I would have bought them all. Because they're MSIA scale, and I could just imagine a really cool display, kind of similar to, like, that very, uh, you know, famous scene from the original show where it's, you know, Char Zaku kind of floating in space, and then you just see, like, a dozen Zakus just floating behind him. I wanted to replicate that. <laughs> but, you know, I still got all these, all these, and the sucker. How much was it? Uh, it was seven twenty four. 724. And uh, just imagine, you know, before the good old inflation, these would have just been a dollar at Dollar Tree. I can't believe these were at Dollar Tree of all places. I'd imagine finding something like this at uh, 
<laughs> at not Dollar Tree. But hey, you know, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> I, I really wanted to make this to kind of continue the the Dollar Tree video series. I looked around to see if I could find anything else kind of silly to uh, discuss in this video, but I really couldn't. I'm like, let me just grab the Gundams and I'll, I'll be on my way and I'll just do a video about that. So this is the Luminous Collection RX-78 with the beam rifle. So let's check this out. Is it like perforated on the top? Or do I have to, I have to cut it? That's okay. I've got, I've got the slicey slice. I just want to make sure I don't slice the, oh, it is perforated. Why wasn't it tearing? Why wasn't it tearing? Look at this. It's not tearing properly. It's like, ugh. Oh man, that's, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I didn't bring uh, scissors or anything. Did that still not get into it? That still didn't get into it. No way. This is miserable. This is literally the worst experience of my entire life. Uh, <laughs> okay, maybe not that bad. Let me try again. Because this is very elastic plastic. Uh, that's a funny rhyme. Elastic plastic. Let me just try the box cutter. Don't try this at home, kids. Remember that old trend? I feel like it was always on YouTube. Whenever someone cut open a box, they were like, cut away from yourself, kids. Be safe. Don't try this at home, kids. Like, everyone said that. And it was so cliche. <laughs> everyone said that, but I don't know one says it. Now YouTube is just the, the Wild West of, you know, horrible children's entertainment. <laughs> Seriously, man, the kind of stuff that's out there for kids. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Uh, let's get this guy open. There we go. So we'll just pile the plastic right there. So, my first impression, wow. Uh, the face is a little wonky looking, but it still looks pretty cool. It still does look pretty cool. Let's get in close on that. I mean, that's the Gundam. That is the Gundam, all right. Uh, pretty much all the deco you want is there. I don't really see anything that's missing. It's not like, oh man, it doesn't even have the, you know, the red jewel on the head painted. No, everything's there. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. And then this is the scope. And look, they even painted the scope yellow. That's something you hardly even get with high grades. And put this leg in. Articulation's still very limited, you know, because it's... That's not the point of these. Why do we not want to focus? Come on. There we go. Thank you. The whole point of these isn't like, you know, articulation. It's the light up gimmick because these light up. And I think that's really cool. So I'm sure he'll be a little easier. Yeah, we'll just take that. And thankfully the batteries and everything are included. They're in there. We're not focusing again because life hates me. Uh, but we'll flick this and batteries still work. Amazing. Perfect. Plop that in. And I'm guessing the chest is going to light up a bit too. He's not lighting up super bright. I don't know what's going on with him. Yeah, I feel like that's not as bright. Here, let me really kind of ghetto style turn my lights off in the front. Yeah, he's lighting up. There we go. He's lighting up, just not super bright. It's kind of a shame the mouth events aren't perfectly painted. This is a very cinematic lighting. Look at that. Very cinematic. <laughs> so yeah, he's, he's not lighting up super bright. But still, I'm like, yeah. Let me grab this for $1.25, man. I had to. I actually didn't notice at first that there was a second version of the Gundam. I thought it was just all of them just had the beam saber. So there's the Gundam. Next up, let's open Char. And don't worry, I won't put you through the whole uh, paper thing again. I'm not going to... Or the plastic. I'm not going to make you go through that. <laughs> but I do want to see. Is this a case of literally the same thing? It must be. Yeah, I must have like the bazooka somewhere else because you can see he just has a normal hand too so this is literally 100 percent identical from the one i already have so i'm not going to open him up all the way um i might just pair him with my extra like beam saber gundam in some like little offshoot display or something but for dollar 25 i'm like i don't remember if this is a similar version or not to the one i already have but i'm like let me go ahead and just grab it <laughs> they only had the one figured i'd regret it if i didn't because it's ugh, come on I already had it, but it's so cheap. All right, so here's the thing I wish I had a 1,000 of. The good old classic green Zaku. Let me uh, jump cut to having all this plastic taken care of. Of course it tore perfectly. Of course it did. Of course it tore perfectly. <laughs> so let's get him out. And... 
Does he not have the luminousness? Does he not? Am I missing something? Oh, he's got more in there. Okay, good. I was worried, like, does he not have the illumination? But he does. He's got another bag. Does this, is this one going to tear perfectly? Is this going to tear perfectly like the other one, huh? Uh, almost. Almost. Let me jump cut. Well, during that very long, annoying jump cut, I figured I would take the opportunity to just open them both. <laughs> because that was so frustrating. It was so frustrating. I'm happy I have two, though. Because these guys actually have a lot of optional pieces, which I appreciate. Uh, so the Gundam didn't really have a lot of optional pieces. He just has two different versions. But the Zakus, they're just like, yeah, we'll just give you the option to, you know, have this arm or that arm or this arm. And I really appreciate that. I think that's really cool. So with the standard Zaku, we can have him with a uh, with a Heat Hawk, wherever the Heat Hawk went. Where's the Heat Hawk? Where's, there it is right there. Oh my gosh, my desk is a mess with all this stuff. I mean, it's essentially, you know, Gundam model style things. So we can give him a Heat Hawk for this arm, which I think is pretty cool. The legs, if you want these guys really staying stable, I would just glue them. Honestly, did I glue the legs on this? I must have. I think I actually already glued the legs on my shark because it was that annoying. Uh, <laughs> I actually, now that I think about it, I think I did. Uh, so we can have this guy with a heat hawk. Uh, we do actually have um, an, a bent arm as well. So we can give this guy this bent arm and take the shield and put the shield in the bent arm. And now we can give him the machine gun. Because there's also, isn't there an optional, like, machine gun arm, maybe, in there? I don't know. I don't know. Is there a machine gun arm? Oh, so yes and no, what it is. It's this arm, but there's an alternate hand with the handle attached to the hand. So that's what we do. So then we put this hand in the arm, and then we put this hand in the arm with the machine gun attached. And then we attach this little handle bit to the machine gun. That's what we do. Okay. That's what we do. Bit of a bit of a process, but we got there. So, there's tons of leftover little pieces. But here is our green Zaku duo with their lovely not staying together legs. So those look really really cool. And just putting Char right there in the middle. I need to get Char the bazooka. He needs to have a weapon. That's sweet. That's sweet. You know, and the fact that I got these, you know, considering this is a, you know, just a duplicate I already had. I got all three of these for $1.25 each, and I've got a Gundam to fight them. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. We're going to get the lights on for all these Zakus, though. So, again, kind of an annoying process. And the legs keep coming off. Those really, if you get these, glue those legs in. I'm being dead serious. I'm happy the batteries aren't dead on these little things. Because that would be up. Oh, Spoke too soon. That one's dead. <laughs> How about the other one? How about the other one? Is this one dead? Oop. It, it, we witnessed its death. Okay. So these don't work. <laughs> I'll have to get new batteries for those. Um, and these little button cell batteries, man. They're such a pain. I really don't like them. But hey, at least there's a screw in there, so they are changeable. So that's kind of a, a stinker. You know, I can't show off that, but... Let's just borrow Char's, because I know Char's works. And it's funny, because I've had this version of Char for a long time. There, goes those, there go those hoses. Jeez. These things are a little annoying to actually work with, especially if you want to get that light off and on. But putting that in, we can at least see. Oh, dude, that looks sweet. That looks really sweet. <laughs> I like that. I'll definitely have to get new batteries for these so I can have all the Zaku's lighten up at some point. One thing I do appreciate, too, is how the heads attach. Uh, I think it's easier to demonstrate with Char. You can see it's a clear rod, and it just goes into the hollow torso. So it actually transfers the light pretty well. It does it pretty well. All right. So there we go. There's the Zaku's in their lovely falling apart fashion. So, you know, you can kind of tell these aren't the greatest items from Bandai. There's probably a very valid reason why they ended up at Dollar Tree. Uh, they retailed for nearly 10 bucks, which is kind of a lot. <laughs> kind of a lot for something that basically just has swivel at the head, swivel shoulders, 
swivel biceps, swivel wrists, and that's pretty much it. You know, a lot of articulation for something like that. But hey, you know, like I said, these do kind of scale with MSIA, so that is a pretty cool little feature to keep in mind. But one thing I think I'm going to do, uh, let me do one more jump cut of having this guy and the second char opened up and everything kind of cleaned up because I think what I want to do, I'll probably have this is like one display, but then I'll probably just have the Gundam and Char somewhere else is kind of just like a, a cool little rivalry of sorts. So yeah, let me just jump cut. I'll show you what I got. Oh, <sighs> these damn legs. I really understand why I glued them on my first Char. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Come on. Huh? This is also why I didn't display my first char with the bazooka. Uh, it lost this piece because this piece doesn't stay in. So I remember now why I didn't display him with that. Because I didn't have all the pieces to the bazooka. And there that goes on the floor. Perfect. More leg reattachment. Man, I am busting out the super glue big time after I'm done filming this. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, so what I cut out there was about 15 minutes of me getting these all together, fidgeting with these things, having an absolutely annoying time, because they don't want to stay together. <laughs> they don't. However, the great thing is, my duplicate Gundam and my duplicate Char, their lights worked. So I can have this right here with all four of these guys lit up, looking awesome, looking great. Uh, however, uh, I do have these guys with with dead batteries. Uh, they, they do not light up. And one interesting thing, uh, this guy, his head is stuck. His head does not want to move. Uh, however, uh, again, I really understand why I glued these together. Because look at this, no effort. No effort. And there goes the leg, there goes the foot. Uh, I can honestly see why these ended up at Dollar Tree. As a huge Gundam fan, I still enjoy having these for only $1.25 each. They're super cool. I'm really happy with them. But th th at the original retail price, at the retail level, I fully understand how these things failed. Because they're very limited with articulation. Their whole gimmick was that they light up. And we can see right here, they're lighting up. They look super awesome, super amazing. Let me do that cinematic lighting again. Look at that. That looks super cool. That looks super freaking cool. And for me, getting these for as cheap as I did, I'm very happy. I'm a very happy boy. I mean, this whole thing you're seeing right here is five bucks. Five bucks for all that. Yeah, heck yeah, I'll take that. But they are not perfect. And one interesting thing, too, the, the Zakus. Th these are all my leftover pieces I have from my Zakus right down here. I have all these leftover pieces, tons of them. However, the Gundam couldn't just come with... This, this is the only piece that is, <laughs> that would be necessary to switch out the Gundam. Why did there have to be a whole second release for the Gundam just to give it the Beam Saber? That makes no sense to me. It really doesn't. However, with that being said, these things are pretty cool. Now, if, if you're a Gundam fan and you're looking for, you know, like, your one and only Gundam figures, do not make these your one and only. Absolutely do not. They are not... They are not up to high-grade standard, master-grade standard, even Gundam Universe standard, Gundam Infinity standard. These things are meant to just be cool little Gundam toys that sit on your desk and have light-up eyes and look really cool. That's it. That's all they do. Uh, I really enjoy them, though, and if I can get my hands on about a thousand more of those Zakus for only $1.25 each, heck yeah, I'll do it. But... You know, I'm happy I got a couple green boys. I'm happy I got duplicates of Char and the Gundam. It's, I'm happy. I'm happy at the end of the day, but they are annoying. <laughs> and I can only really recommend these for, you know, diehard Gundam fans. If you're a casual Gundam fan, you know, maybe just picking up, you know, one or two may, for only $1.25 if your Dollar Tree has them. But they are, th there is a reason why they ended up at Dollar Tree. There is a genuine reason because they are not the greatest. But I still really enjoy them. 
I still really like them, and I'm happy I found them. And I do want to thank David again from End of the Hall for tipping me off to this, because otherwise I would have had no idea, and they probably would have came and went before I even realized it was a thing. So big thanks to you, my guy. Huge thanks. <laughs> seriously, seriously appreciate it. All right, guys, there we go. Uh, the raw footage for this video is 36 minutes long. Because uh, I did not stop the recording during the, the jump cuts. Uh, so 36 minutes of raw recording for these. Yikes. I don't even know if this video is going to be more than 20 minutes long. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about these down in the comments. Another weird episode of the of the Dollar Tree Chronicles. But I had to talk about these. For only $1.25 each, man. I had to. And I also wanted to have some nice footage of them with their light-up eyes before they inevitably died because I'm sure the LEDs or the LEDs or the batteries are gonna die here soon. They look really cool though. I mean look at that one with the heat hawk. That looks really sweet. But unfortunately, as soon as you go to pick these up, look at that. The leg doesn't even go with the figure. I've had this happen a few times during the recording where like the legs seriously just stay on the table. Isn't that wild? Look at that. <laughs> Special thanks. Special thanks to channel members, as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support here. Let me make that an accurate display. There we go. He just sliced him. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Have a great one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.